American Truck Simulator, a game released in 2016, runs on the Prism 3D engine, and these are the minimum system requirements of the game. Let's see how much performance improvement we can achieve after making some graphical tweaks. The configuration file of this game is located in your Documents folder, American Truck Simulator, and the file called config.cfg. Within this file, several basic graphical elements can be set to their lowest values. For example, you can change fake shadows to zero, cloud shadows to zero, and so on. By adjusting these settings, players can tailor their graphical experience to their hardware capabilities, ensuring smoother gameplay while understanding the potential trade-offs in visual quality. The game now runs much smoother, making it a more enjoyable experience even on my lower-end PC. It's amazing how these small changes can make such a big difference. So if you're in a similar situation, give these tweaks a try and let me know how they work for you. By the way, don't go anywhere because I have more to show you. Inside in the config file, these two variables control the level of detail LOD settings for vehicles and parked vehicles. With a default value of 1.0, vehicles render at a greater distance, while a value of 0.1 causes them to render at a closer distance. Customizing the LOD settings for vehicles and parked vehicles is particularly beneficial for low-end PCs. When these settings are adjusted to a lower value, such as 0.1, vehicles render at a closer distance. This means that your system doesn't have to work as hard to display highly detailed vehicle models in the distance, reducing the graphical load and improving overall performance. With lower LOD settings, your game becomes more optimized for lower-end hardware, allowing for smoother gameplay even on computers with limited graphical capabilities. You also have the option to completely disable pedestrians' loady by setting this variable to zero, zero. This modification can have a significant impact on performance, particularly on low-end PCs by disabling pedestrians' LOD entirely. The game won't render them at all, even from a distance. This results in a substantial reduction in the strain on your computer's resources, leading to significantly improved frame rates and an overall more optimized gaming experience, making it an excellent adjustment for those with less powerful hardware. You also have the option to completely disable grass rendering by setting the grass density variable to zero. This can be especially beneficial for enhancing performance, particularly on lower-end PCs. Disabling grass means that the game won't render grass textures and foliage, which can be demanding on system resources. As a result, your computer can allocate more power to rendering the essential elements of the game, leading to a smoother and more optimized gaming experience. This adjustment is ideal for those seeking a performance boost while still maintaining a playable and enjoyable game environment, even on hardware with limited capabilities. So, folks, that wraps it up for today. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated. And don't forget to share this video with your friends who have low-end computers so they too can enjoy American Truck Simulator. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.